Hey, hey, what's up, my friend? So let's, you know, carry on where we move on. But before we get started, I want to do a super quick recap to the topics that you have just learned. So first thing first, number one, remember, market structure, what is it? Well, in essence, right, market structure tells you what to do. If the market is in an uptrend, you will look for buying opportunities. If the market is in a downtrend, you will look for selling opportunities. So, so that's what we covered, market structure, the first thing. So let's say market is in an uptrend, a series of higher highs and higher lows. Then this brings us to the second section that we have covered. We talk about area of value. And the reason why this is important is because just because a market is in an uptrend doesn't mean you want to blindly hit the buy button because the market could be getting ready to make a pullback or a reversal. So this is where I introduced to you, right, the concept of area of value to identify areas on your chart where buying pressure could step in to push the price higher. So in other words, these are areas on your chart where you want to look for buying opportunities. So in this case, let's say it's an uptrend. This could be an area of value, right, where previous resistance could become support. So this is an area of value. This is where you want to look for buying opportunities to hop on board the trend. And now this brings us to our third section, entry trigger. So once you have your market structure, once you have your area of value, the next question is, when do you enter a trade? So this is what entry trigger is all about. It tells you when exactly to enter a trade, when exactly to buy or sell. So to do that, right, entry trigger, will we'll learn some simple price patterns, right, that you can utilize, right, that tells you when to enter a trade, right, after your earlier market conditions are met, right, namely the market structure and the area of value. So let's, you know, study this more in depth. So how do you define an entry trigger? So there are numerous ways, but I'm going to share with you two techniques. Number one is what I call candlestick patterns. I didn't call it, right, you know, it's the people, the traders before me, right, they, they came up with this, uh, this concept. And then we have the moving average break. So let's, you know, study these two techniques, right, that you can use to define as your entry trigger. So let me first and foremost explain what candlestick pattern is all about. So candlestick patterns is uh, something that you might be familiar with because most charting platform offer this, uh, this type of uh, candlestick charts. So it has four data points, the opening price, the highest price point of the day or of the candle, the lowest price point and the closing price. So I'll explain this in more details shortly. So I want you to know is that candlestick patterns can be utilized across different time frames. You can use it on the daily, the four hour, the hourly, the weekly time frame. And depending on the time frame that you're using, how you can interpret it is that on the one hour time frame, right, one candle will be formed every one hour. If you're on the four hour time frame, then one candle will be formed every four hours. And likewise, if you're on the daily time frame, one candle will be formed every single day. You get my point. So now this brings me to this section, right? How do you read? candlestick patterns okay so remember there are four data points i'm going to explain to you step by step so when you deal with candlestick patterns right you will likely see one of two type of candles either a green candle or a red candle sometimes it could be a black candle or a white candle it really you know depends on how you set your chart settings for but for most charts right it's either green or red so for a green candle it simply means that the price has closed above the opening opening price Okay, so in this case, right, you can see the green candle. This over here will be the opening price. This over here will be the closing price. What about this two black line over here and here? Very simple, right? The one at the top is the highest price of the candle, and this over here is the lowest price of the candle. Now, you might be wondering, hey, Rina, what do you mean by of the candle? So this depends on the time frame that you're using candlestick pattern. So let's say, for example, you are on the daily time frame. Let's pull it daily. Okay, so how do you interpret this on the daily time frame? Very simple. This means this is the highest price point for the day. This over here is the lowest price point for the day. And this over here is the opening price of the day. And this is the closing price of the day. So this only holds true if you are, you know, looking at this candlestick pattern on the daily time frame. If you change this to the weekly time frame, then this is the highest price point of the week. This is the low of the week. This is the open of the week. And this is the closing price of the week. You get my point. Okay, now... Let's have a look at the other inverse, the inverse of the green pen pattern, which is actually this is uh, what we call a bearish pattern. This is where the candle has closed below the opening price. Okay, so for this one over here, the opening price will be on top, open. This is the closing. This again is the high, and this is the low. So the way to interpret this bearish candle is the same. The only difference between a bearish and a bullish candle is their opening and closing price. For bullish, the open is below, 
and then closes on top, right? Because the bar, right, has closed above the opening price. This is bullish, right? This is a, like, you know, like a, a sign of strength where the buyers are in control. They have pushed the price and closed above their opening price. Whereas this one is a bearish candle where the sellers are in control, where they actually, you know, close, right, be below, right, where the opening price is. So this is what we call a bearish candle. So this is actually how you read a candlestick pattern. And to sum up what I just said, this diagram will be useful. So you can see over here, this is like a quick summary to what we've just covered. This is the opening price, closing price, because this is a bullish candle. This is the high, this is the low. Likewise, on the opposite end of the spectrum, this is a bearish candle. The opening price is here, closing price is here. Because this is a bearish candle, this tells you that the bar has closed below the opening price. So that's why the close is below the opening price. Open is here, close is here. This is the low of the candle and this is the high of the candle. Actually, the low of the candle is actually here. Okay, so another terminology to explain is sometimes you might be you might have heard of things like body wick. So the body refers to the colored segment of the candlestick pattern. So you can see that this colored area from here all the way down to here, this is what we call the, the body of the candle. And you see the two black lines sticking out. We call this the wick or upper shadow. Since this one is uh, the top of the wick, we call this upper shadow or upper wick. The one at the bottom, we call this a lower shadow or lower wick. And that's pretty much you know how you read a candlestick pattern so now moving on right i want to share with you uh some really useful candlestick patterns right to help you time your entry so you know when exactly to buy or sell so let's move on so if you look at this one over here let's first talk about the bullish reversal candlestick patterns right it looks something like uh there are a few variations to it i want to explain to you two that i find useful right in your trading journey First one is what we call a hammer. So let me explain to you the story right behind the hammer. So the hammer, again, it's a bullish candle. So you know the opening price is here. Where is the low of the candle? It's here. Where is the closing price? It's here. Where is the high of the candle? It's here. Okay, so let's say this is like, you know, a daily time frame candle. So this is the opening price of the day, closing price of the day, high of the day, low of the day. So let me explain to you, you know, what's going on with this hammer pattern and why is it so significant so if you think about this right this actually tells you that you know when the market opened over here the sellers they quickly dive in right and push the price lower all the way down you know near this lows of the day right and when things are looking doom and gloom right when things are looking so bad right suddenly the buyers right you know they, they got revived right they, you know inject themselves with you know, maybe some steroids and push the price all the way up higher you know and finally closing near the highs right of the day so it's kind of like, you know, you watch movies, right? The good guy get beaten up, get trashed, and then suddenly, you know, they think of some some of their loved ones, you know, it's hurting them, you know, they got to gain strength to overcome the battle, and then they, they win the, the, the battle and the movie. And the, so it's kind of the same story, right? Where the sellers are in control, pushing down the price, and then sellers, you know, kind of like get strong, you know, those cheesy movie lines, and they revive, and they, you know, beat the bad guys, and they, they're victorious. So same as this hammer over here, right? So basically, the sellers got overwhelmed by the buyers, and the price, right, closed bullishly close near the highs of the day so this is a sign of strength telling you that the buyers are in control so another pattern right the bullish engulfing pattern is actually a similar variation to this one but this one is a one candle pattern okay whereas this one here is a two candle pattern so this one requires two candle to define it as a bullish engulfing pattern but the story behind it it's the same right let me explain so if you look at a bullish engulfing pattern you can see that on the first day price open here and then the sellers took control and close right near the lows of the day. So the sellers were celebrating, right? Hooray, you know, you know, we're victorious. If you watch Avengers Endgame, right, you know, how is it like, right, where, you know, the bad guys, they were winning the war. Then what happened is that, you know, uh, uh, you know, all the good guys started to assemble, right? And then push back and then they win the war, you know. So in this case, it's the same thing, right? You know, the sellers thought they were winning and then the good guys suddenly come in, right? Reinforce together, you know, Avengers assemble. And then, you know, uh, they push the price up higher, right? And close near the highs of the day. And the buyers, you know, they pretty much, you know, won this battle between the, the, the war between buyers and sellers. So in this case, bullish engulfing pattern, similar to the hammer, you know, sellers were in control at first, then they got overwhelmed by the buyers and, you know, they pretty much won the war temporarily. So this is what we call a bullish reversal candlestick patterns. Hammer and bullish engulfing patterns are useful ones to know. So if you, you know, are trading the markets, right? You notice the price is in an uptrend, it's at your area of value, like at support, and then the hammer forms, right? This tells you, right, that it's time to enter a trade. So a quick illustration could be something like this. Let's say, so if you look at this, right, let's say market is in an uptrend, comes back to your area of value here. Okay, then you got your entry triggered hammer. 
okay what this tells you that now at this point right the buyers have you know win the the tug of war between buyers and sellers temporarily and this is where you can look to enter your trade on the next candle open okay we'll, we'll cover some trading examples later on but this is pretty much to let you know right, where this entry trigger stands right in the grand scheme of things so now let's move on and talk about bearish reversal candlestick pattern so there are again two to share with you number one shooting star so let me illustrate to you the story right behind a shooting star so you can see over here the price open at this price point this is the close this is the low and this is the high so what is the story right behind the shooting star so when the market first opened right the buyers right they were victorious right they quickly pushed the price up higher drive the price up near the highs and you know beating their chest you know celebrating suddenly right the, the sellers came in to control and push the price all the way down closing near the lows so an analogy that i can give you is like you know you go for your you you got back your exam results and you realize man i got an a why well, you're so excited i got an a and after which you realize the a is not what you think it means a for absent and you come crashing down again so it's the same thing for this shooting star right? you, you're really high you thought you know you're really happy and then your whole world just come crashing down so same for this right the buyers they took control at the start only buyers took control at the start only to get overwhelmed by the sellers and the price closed near the lows of the day okay so likewise there's another one what we call a bearish engulfing pattern meaning is similar just that this time around it uses two candles to represent this uh this this uh so-called story so I'll explain, right? So again, here is the opening price. This is the low, this is the high, and this is the close. So you can see that, you know, on this day, the buyers were in control. They managed to close near the highs of the day. They were really happy, really excited, right? This is good news, yay! The next day, sellers quickly took control near the opening price, at the opening price, and drive the price down and close near the lows of the day. So this, you can see, right, this bearish candle right, is even more powerful than the earlier one. Why do I say that? Because if you look at the body of this red candle, this body, right, remember body is simply the colored portion of a candle. This body is even bigger than the previous bullish candle body, right? This body is engulfed or cover this first candle body. So this is why we call this a bearish engulfing pattern because this body of this candle has engulfed, has covered the body of the previous day's candle. Okay, so let me just walk you through a few chart examples so you know how to actually spot, you know, bullish engulfing pattern, bearish engulfing pattern and stuff like that. So you can see over here on the this chart over here, Aussie against US dollar. This is what we call a bearish engulfing pattern. See how this body of this candle has engulfed, has covered the body of the previous candle. Okay, and if you look over here, this is what we call a hammer. Look at this candle over here. This is what we call a hammer, right? We can see the long wick at the bottom, right? Rejecting this lower prices. Okay, let's see what else. Uh, this is what we call a shooting star. I would say this over here. Notice this long wick up higher, right? In fact, some of you, if you want to call this a bearish engulfing pattern, I wouldn't say you're wrong because this candle has actually covered the body of the previous candle as well. So one thing to, to note, right, is that when you are learning understanding candlestick patterns don't get too caught up with the name the exact definition because the concept is really what matters right who's winning the war right by how much right how much re how much rejection of higher prices are there how long is the wick relative to the body this is what matters not really you know the exact name and the exact meaning behind it because if you look at for example this this pattern over here which i didn't cover let me ask you do you think this pattern over here is it bullish or bearish well if you learn how to read the price action or read the story behind candlestick patterns you will agree that this is actually a bullish candle. This tells you, right, at one point, the opening price is here. The sellers drive the price down lower near this low. Then the sellers took control and pushed the price back up near the highs of the day. So you can see that this is actually a bullish candlestick pattern, and this is what we call a dragonfly doji. I didn't, I didn't teach that to you, but, you know, using the concept of, you know, uh, open, high, low, and close, how, where the price open, where the price close, you know who's in control you should know that you know hey this is actually a bullish candlestick pattern all right so let's have a look at the one or two more before we move on so look at this chart again you can see you know this candlestick patterns right pretty much you know quite common on the chart this one here we have a bearish engulfing pattern this one here looks like a shooting star but a shooting star we have the red body a bearish close but this one here we have a green body but just because this body is green you won't say that hey this is bullish right no this is still a bearish candlestick pattern a bearish reversal candlestick pattern only difference is the body is 
a little bit green, right? Telling you that the price is close slightly above the opening price. But the key thing to pay attention to is this long wick over here, right? This tells you that, you know, the buyers at one point in time were over here and they got overwhelmed by the sellers pushing the price near, right? The lows of the day. Okay, so again, remember the story behind the candlestick pattern and not try to, you know, understand or memorize every single pattern out there because you will get overwhelmed. So moving on now, let's talk about the second, right? Entry trigger technique that you can use, which is called the moving average break. 